How do we handle the tough situations in life? Let me tell you about something that happened to me. I'm driving down the highway and it's a really wintry night. It's very dark. There's snow blowing across the road and all of a sudden I hit a patch of black ice and the car spins. I could see lights of other cars coming towards me and in that moment I was so frightened. I just froze. Do you think I reached out to God? Do you think I remembered to breathe? No, I just went, oh shit. And I froze and I didn't know what was going on and whether I'd make it through. Afterwards, I took stock and I thought, oh my goodness, why didn't I do what I've been teaching people? Breathe, pray so that you can bring down your stress level. I'm in this very high stress point in my life and I don't even think to do those things that I know are going to be the most helpful ways to cope. I was fine, luckily made it through. Cars been replaced and repaired and all that stuff. Everything went out all right in the long run, but in the short run, it helped me look and take stock and think, what can I do differently the next time? I think one of the things that I learned mainly is that if I'm not practicing on a regular basis, when I'm in that stressful situation, I'm not going to think to do what is going to be best for me to cope. When we're in a situation like that in a car accident where our car is spinning, our brain is spinning too. And what we will need to do is what is wise to do is to reconnect to our prefrontal cortex where we do our logical thought processing. Best way to do that is through breathing. So breathing and asking for strength, be it from God or be it from wherever you put your faith, can help us reconnect to our prefrontal cortex and make the wise decisions. Help us navigate those tough, tough situations that we might be in, be it sliding around on the highway or be it sliding into other things that we might run into in our life. We can practice our positive affirmations every morning. We can do something that's, that we call mirror work. We look in the mirror and we actually say it out loud to ourselves. I have some clients that actually write a sticky note, put it on their mirror so they remember to do their positive affirmations in the, in the morning. Look in the mirror and say, I got this. I can do this. I'm a great person. I'm wonderful. We're not going to say things that we're not, and we know that we all have a wonderful peace, even if we feel that we might not be so wonderful, or maybe we're having a bad hair day or whatever it is. But we know that there are some things about us that are absolutely wonderful, and we would be wise to remind ourselves that helps us propel ourselves into the future and to make those connections with our brain to calm ourselves down and enable us to face the day. We don't know what kind of trauma we're going to going to be facing throughout the day. Maybe we're going to skin on ice. Maybe we're going to run into a tough situation at work or in a grocery store or at the instant teller, wherever we are. Maybe we're going to have that point where our stress tank is full. And if we've been practicing decompression techniques such as positive affirmations, breathing or a breath prayer, all these things can reconnect our brain and enable us to calm ourselves down and to get into a place where we can make the right decision moving forward. Practice, practice, practice so it becomes our go-to and it's an automatic response when we're in those tough situations. Thanks for listening. Our YouTube channel, Finding Solutions Together, is here for you to help improve your mental fitness. Please click subscribe and you'll hear more about different techniques that you can use and our thoughts and ideas on improving mental fitness. Take care out there and God bless.